Good morning, everyone. As promised, I told you guys that I was going to be doing a, a channel, Pot Full of Love. Uh, that's my book on how to feed a family of eight with $40. So today is going to be my first uh, video as I start to cook and I start to share with you on some of the secrets that I use to um, uh, uh, I would say um, stretch my dollars okay um, so today I'm not gonna go to the grocery store today because I, I did say I would go to the grocery store but I'm not gonna go to the grocery store today today I'm just gonna do share with you maybe a couple of meals that I would do a couple couple of ideas that um, that uh, I did when my kids were growing up and I still use presently today. Normally, I'm gonna put on my apron. Um, so I'm gonna start off with what I have in the kitchen to start training. Okay, and um, I use. Uh, the, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use uh, people's names, but, uh, I would say, uh, some of the, um, the, the stores that, um, where you can buy in bulk. Okay. So today, I'm just going to make us some chicken salad in a salad, okay? And normally, when you go to those stores, uh, the big name um, stores uh, where you can buy the uh, big economy packages and the, the business owners can go and buy in bulk and stuff like that with discounts and whatever. I'll get five of these for seven bucks. Yes, that's right. Five of them for seven bucks. And this is where those, uh, that tip come in where you can stretch your dollars and make it till you make it holler. Um, so I'm going to use the um, chicken breast. Okay. Um, and this is from Members Marks. It's that out. Okay. This is how it comes, like this. So you'll be able to get um, quite a bit of use, you know, out of this. You can. This is a couple of meals right here, okay, for one price. Now, when you make this up as chicken salad, okay, you can make it as a sandwich or you can use it as noodles, okay? Or you use it with noodles, okay? To make it like, you know, uh, a salad, you know, with the noodles, okay? So I don't like how um, this comes packaged because it comes in a, a juice. Um, and it's kind of thick. So I pour off the juice. And the chicken breast looks like this. 
okay coming out of the can. And I don't um, like mixing this up with it chunky like this. So what I do Um, I take and I put it in my uh, small food processor and um, it, it, it cuts my onions and green peppers up and things like that. So I put my, actually put my chicken um, in there, my chicken breast in there and, and uh, so that it I have a nice consistency when I mix. And I'm going to put my eggs on while I dice up my chicken and my a little onion and maybe a little green pepper, a little sweets or whatever. People mix their chicken salad up all kinds of ways, grapes and all kinds of different things. Whatever you like, you know, you use whatever you want to share. I guess it's, it's according to your taste buds or to your audience, whoever, if you're serving it or whatever, um, you know, to guests or whatever, whatever your guests like. So I'm putting my eggs on. And I have a few large organic eggs. Just a few left. Put a little bit more water in the pot. That. And so I am going to today I'm going to to serve my chicken salad with oh, crackers and um, a salad. And ordinarily I like to mix um my salads together. Um, I like to mix my spring mix and my regular salads together makes it you know it looks pretty to me
I'm gonna put a little onion, just a little, a tad bit, cause I'm making a small portion. Something I'm not used to doing is making a small portion of anything. But, you know, just in the entrance of the show. I can hear my eggs boiling already. Turn it down a little bit so it's getting ready to spoil out. And see, this is the consistency that I want when I make my chicken salad. And of course, I used my food, little food processor. Miniature one. Don't really hope a big one to do this little small job. So I'm just getting the corners of the the chicken breast out of the food processor. And guys, I hope I um, encourage you to, you know, want to get off of that McDonald's and oops, I'm not supposed to say that. Well, all those fast food chains, but sometimes you can't help it. But, um, you know, um, you know, try as much as possible, you know, to, you know, cook homemade meals. Number one, it'll save your pocketbook. And number two, it's a lot healthier for you. Oh, 
Okay. So while my eggs are boiling, I'm gonna cook, I mean, cut up my green pepper and onion. And it's not gonna be a lot because it's only like, I don't even know, I threw my can away. Let me look and see. I can tell you how many ounces I'm using actually. And that will probably help, help you out just in case you decide you wanna try chicken salad at home. So this can is 12.5 ounces. Okay. And I'm gonna cut a smidgen of a piece of an onion, okay? And a smidgen of green pepper. When I say smidgen, I mean smidgen, smidgen. Mention the green pepper in it as well. <sighs> Folks, I have to admit to you something. I hate washing dishes. So, in that $40 a week, include my paper goods because and i go to the dollar store to get my paper plates my paper cups my cake plates my cups so the only dishes that i'm left with washing are the dishes that i prepare my food in i'm like all things disposable And I save a lot of stuff too. And my peppers are getting low, so, and I like to use colorful peppers. I like to use, um, I like to use red peppers, green peppers, jalapeno peppers. Oh, I'm a spice girl. Definitely a spice girl. So, um, yeah.
All right, so I'm getting ready to cut my green peppers and my onions up so I can get ready to mix my, uh, my chicken salad together. So as I was telling you, this is uh, one of my uh, passionate things I like to do. I like to cook. I like to get in the kitchen. I like to create. Um, and at the moment, because of COVID, uh, it's becoming uh, so one of the necessary evils. Depending on what happens and how things go. I'm talking in cold, but hey. <laughs> do what you have to do. But we're uh we're cutting back. Um we're 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 we we know that retirement is on the horizon. So um we're cutting back, so we cut back and um so this is a way to get me in the mindset of, uh, you know, not just going and spending, you know, off the top of my head. I start focusing and, you know, um, because we're, we're today we're going to be discussing my husband and I, when I say we, my husband and I, we're going to be discussing, um, putting an uh, actual date on our repatriation. Repatriation onto the continent. Um, so I'm rather excited about that. And so, which makes me, you know, get more serious about, um, you know, my spending habits, cutting back and, you know, putting more money to the side so that we can make my dream possible. It's our dream as far as retirement. It's my dream to repatri repatriate over to the continent. Let me put that out there in the universe. But... Um, I'm working really, really hard at selling it to my wonderful husband. And he's allowed me to be the serial entrepreneur that I am. <laughs> Absolutely cannot help it. Uh, probably way before me. But I do know and remember, as a little girl, my grandmother having a, a store in her house. People would come to the porch and they would buy um, sodas and chips and things when we'd be down in Tennessee visiting. So now I'm just waiting for my eggs to boil. They're almost finished. And um, I cooled them off and cut them up. So right now, you see, I have the chicken and the green peppers and onions together. I'm waiting for the eggs. I'm going to sit out my relish, relish, 
is an automatic for me that sweetens the chicken fat up. I'm a sandwich spread person. I'm sorry, I gotta get a, a small piece of my sister's uh, cake, birthday cake she made for me. It was delicious. <laughs> this will tie me over until I finish my chicken salad. My husband come home so we can have lunch together. It's still moist, oh my gosh. I think my eggs are almost done. I'll give it a couple more minutes. And then I'm gonna cool them off really fast, peel them, put them in a the thing, mix them. To get some pepper and salt. Um, I like different types of herbs and seasonings and things to put inside also to give it that little kick or zest. I can smell when my food is going to taste good, y'all. And just like my book says, pot full of love, when I'm cooking, that's what permeates between me and the stove and my food is the love that um, that I put in my food when and during preparation, when I'm thinking about it, and when I'm actually putting it together. Yes. So now I'm going to mix up our salad. I'm using the Iceberg Romaine Blend along with the spring mix. And I know you guys probably say, well, why don't I just use one or the other? Well, kind of like me, serial entrepreneur, love doing everything. So, that I love to do, let me put that in there. Um, so I so I, lo I love the spring mix and I love the iceberg. So I just rinse them and I mix them together and I get that a fusion taste, you know, of, of everything. And I love experimenting. So I'm just gonna grab another little bowl. Nothing formal, so I'm not worried about making it look really pretty. You know, this, my husband, he's on his way home from, from work and, um, we're going to have lunch together, and then we'll run out to the stores. Uh, 
because I'm trying to uh, learn some different techniques with my videos. So hopefully I can get uh, some techies to help me. So I'm just rinsing a handful of my my uh, spring mix. And then I'm gonna do a handful of my um, my iceberg blend in it also. Not to mention you have two different people who are like, you know, more of one type or what other type of so. This kind of you meeting everybody's needs, you know, or taste buds. We're down to a little bit left in our croutons. But folks, this huge bag of croutons, 32 ounces, is like six bucks. But this big bag of croutons will last me for over a month. And I'm making salads, I know, at least two to three times a week. And so... You know, you save money when you go to these big, um, these big grocery club stores. That's one way you can, um, you know, you save money and stretch your money. So in between times, you know, you, you know, you hit the dollar stores and your off-brand discount grocery stores. And that way you'll, you know, you can save money. You stretch your money. But, <coughs> excuse me. But when you um, are buying your initial food, and I'm not talking about going crazy. I'm just talking about going to buy, if you have a large family, bulk. Um, say bulk chicken or bulk. Uh, uh, um, hamburger meat or turkey meat if you're not a red meat eater. Um, buy it in bulk. And then when you get home, you cut it up and um, put it in your freezer bags and you separate it and then you plan your meals out. Doesn't that look wonderful? Mm. 
no real pretty bowl because again we're just going to do lunch and we're going to run out but folks during this COVID, take advantage of this time and save money. Don't be going out and spending, um, eating out all this time. Save your money. You know, we're in some perilous times. So, you know, we, my husband and I, we went out for my birthday. Of course, we ate out twice because I'm celebrating my birthday. But... Prior to that, it had been it had been a while before uh, we had ate out, you know, because we're saving and like I said, we're pre we're preparing for um, our retirement, and uh, you know, that's I'm so excited, looking forward to that. So, folks. My eggs are done, so I'm getting ready to cool them off right quick. And, um, I'm going to fill them. We're going to mix up the chicken salad. So, we're going to have some chicken salad, um, a toss salad, nice toss salad, some crackers, and I think I might put in some... Italian bread with it, you know, to go along with it. Not that I need it, but maybe a couple, maybe a couple slices of Italian bread with some rich crackers or something. Just to make it, give it a little different something. Is, is helping someone um, that maybe you know you don't cook or you don't know how to cook at all some gentlemen that might not know how to cook at all you know you know you're single you just moved out you you know you just graduated from college or whatever the case may be and you have to learn how to cook where there was a quick glue meal for you chicken salad and some salad you a, a salad meal okay Okay, so guys, um, I got my eggs. They're cooling off. I'm getting ready to peel them so that um, I can uh, blend them up in my chicken salad. And I hope you guys would join me and subscribe to me. Uh, and um, as I grow and develop on this channel. And as we prepare, um, I would like to hear some comments from you. Please comment, subscribe and comment. Might be some things that you might want me to cook or talk about please subscribe tell me what you want me to cook or um what you want me to talk about on my channel concerning retiring repatriating over into uh, the continent maybe you want to share some things i've been following so many of the folks that's doing it already. I've been trying for, to convince my husband for 15 years. But finally, he's seen other folks that are doing it. And man, so it's serving as a huge encouragement for me. Um, and so he's just, the point that he's thinking about it is wonderful. 
Uh, I have a um, um, a nonprofit, a charity organization. It's based here in Maryland, and but uh, we also um, are registered as an NGO over in the Gambia, West Africa, and um, my website is the Jew Pray Project org. Okay, so you all um, GMS. JewFreyProject.org. So, you guys, check us out and donate. I'm cutting my eggs up now, guys. So, I'm hoping that with this channel, I will be able to pick up some followers and I would even hopefully connect with an angel that sees the work that we're putting in um, over in Juice Ray Village. And, you know, then it, what I do, I love. And um, hopefully, this will serve again as a passion, as a as a as an inspiration. I meant to say, uh, as an inspiration to you all to to follow your dreams. No, everyone can't um, just off the cuff, depending on what kind of debt you in. I suppose just just say, hey, I'm gonna to follow my dreams. You know, I mean, put their jobs and do this, that, and the other. Of course, you can't do that, but and, but some people do it, you know. But um, it just depends on where you are and your belief system and how strong and passionate you feel about what you're doing. So I have washed out my pot that I pulled my eggs in. Wiping down my counter. I'm getting ready to do my um I love this thing. This stuff the top is all chopped up. Makes my life so much easier. Look at that, guys. That's what food processor does for you. Be all day trying to do that with a knife in your hand. But a food processor, and it's finished. So of course I have to rinse that out.
after I got that rinsed, now we're getting ready to do my final little ingredients added into my chicken salad, which is the relish, the sandwich bread. And sometimes I do a smidgen of sugar. And see, it's all ready for tomorrow or whatever the next day, whatever I decide to cook on tomorrow. I try to cook and clean as I, I mean, clean as I go while I'm cooking. So again, some relish. Let me come over there. So I'm putting in a little relish, some mayo and sandwich spray. And again, I told you I love mixing things up. a little bit of probably about two tablespoons of extra tablespoons really more or less like a third cup of relish and um some herb seasonings and some sour spray And you guys, I don't have to tell you, um, you know, the different types of, it's a lot of different, everybody has a different type of mayo that they like using. But you know, some of the, the now, that's where you can't do the shortcut. Because your mayo makes the, 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 the salad dressing, the, the uh, a chicken salad, really, okay? Now, you know, different ones have different flavors. So, you know, whatever flavor that is that you like, you know, use that one. So I'm mixing it up with the name brand. mayo with my off-branded sandwich spread. It's gonna be good. Oh, it smells good as I mix it up with the onions and the green peppers. <laughs> Smells so good. The chicken actually, now that I have blended it, it actually, it actually smells like I just took it out of some broth. And guys, that would be something else good that you could throw up in there too. Is some some broth if you want to, you know, give it that fresh, that fresh um, flavor. Drop a broth, chicken broth. It is smelling so good. See that? And again, I'm not used to making these small batches of stuff, but it's just Tony and I. 
So we're gonna have us a nice little light lunch because boy, I can throw down and I love cooking big meals, soul food meals. That's what I grew up on. You know, it was five of us plus everybody. I mean, I don't know what it is to have. We didn't have our house to ourselves. Our our uh, mother's younger uh, siblings, they came and they stayed with us, you know, which I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that's just, just how it was back then in our days. And uh, and my on my father's side, his nephews, they all stayed with us. You know, when they come up from one of their tours in the Navy or the Army or... Um, in college, you know, or just working, and they stopped past. So we always were sharing our house. So anyway, that's where uh, I kind of like just, you know, got, I guess, probably sharing and love doing missionary work and different things like that as I got older because, you know, that's what I seen my parents when they got into my age bracket. You know, they was always sharing love. helping people and that's what we need to do these days you know that song what the world needs is love is the truth we need some love I might want to put a little bit more relish on I'm gonna wait for that but I think I'm finished with my meal So now I'm going to get my tasting spoon out to see how much sugar. Remember I told you, paper products. Always have to keep us up alive of paper plates. So of course, every good cook tastes their food before serving. So you always have your tasting spoons, washed, rinsed, and ready to taste. Mm. Need a little bit of sugar. Oh, yes. Mmm. Mmm. Money. What my husband says is, I have never seen somebody that enjoy eating their own food. <laughs> Private. A little bit more relish. And a tad bit of sugar. And it's going to be spot on. Oh. Yes. Of course you know. Well, I can't say the names. Because I'm not sure I'm supposed to say the names. But, oh. Oh, where's my sugar? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was going to flash it for you, but mm -mm. I think I put it in a, yeah, it's in a container now. It's all good. Wrong cabinet. Oh. I need my step ladder for this.
short, folks. So I'm going to shake a little bit of sugar. And the chicken salad, and let me tell you, it's going to be the bomb. I already know it. I can smell it. And in the interest of, here's another um, shortcut, whatever you want to call it. I know it's just some of your moms and some of you, some of you bourgeois uh, women may like, ooh. Uh, but um, again, I'm repatriating. Repatriating. Okay, so I am not worried about looking bougie, but I am trying to save my dollars so that we can. Okay? You didn't see that. Ah. 